Guys, it's Soda Saturday, and today we're gonna open up a lot of three liters. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it's Saturday, it's the weekend. It's typically when we do our couples duel here at Slap Shop Pops, but unfortunately, Joanna is still a little bit under the weather and her voice is a little bit raspy and she can't talk for long periods of time unfortunately due to this cold that she's been battling, so she didn't feel comfortable enough to come on camera, but she will be back next week, and uh, maybe even next week we'll do two battles to make up for it, but you got me today, and I have brought six giant three liter sodas to crack open, and I had a feeling that when I cracked open this many bottles from the Funko box that just showed up yesterday that Joanna probably wasn't going to want to open these, but I will definitely be forcing her to open more three liter sodas in the very near future. So, for today's character lineup, we have a three liter All Might. We also have a three liter Evil Queen. If there's one person out there who I know approves of this video, I know it's Vince. So, thank you for your support, Vince, in this three liter madness. We also have a little baby Groot. We have an Oogie Boogie, a lot of orange bottles to my left here. We also have a Willy Wonka. Did anybody see the new Willy Wonka movie? Was it good? I really didn't hear anything about it for the most part. And then finally we have what's turning about to be uh, my nemesis, but I think there's another person in the Slap Shop Pops family who's having a tougher time pull this chase. Here is the Darth Vader. 3 liter. We're gonna save this bad boy for last. Now I was lucky enough, just like most of you guys probably, hopefully, took advantage of the sale recently on Funko's website as all these 3 liters were discounted and I'm all about buying the 3 liter sodas on discount or at a reduced price because $40 is just way too much. So, you know what? Let's start out with the Willy Wonka 3 liter and if you guys saw the last time we opened 3 liters here on the channel, we didn't do too good, so I'm kind of hoping that my luck turns around today. I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, I, I'm a little bit better at opening these than Joanna is, but they're still, they're very tough to open here. So we're going to start off with Willy Wonka. He was only 5,000 pieces, and I think it's kind of weird that he is still up for grabs with it only being 5,000 pieces. Oh, there we go. All right, I got the bottom off. Not as fun to open as the smaller sodas, but we are looking for him holding the golden ticket. So here we go, New York Comic Con, Willy Wonka. Let's see, can we start off with a chase? Oh, yes! Look at that, it's not the uh, golden ticket, it's the Wonka bar. How about that? First soda, first chase. I like that, that's awesome. Let me rip out the uh, the pog here. Yep, it does in fact confirm. One out of 800 pieces, we got the Willy Wonka chase. How about that? I'll take a chase any day of the week, especially when I can get it on sale from the Funko Shop. Man, that's awesome. Very similar to the common as to what he looks like, but that is a very low piece chase. Only 800 pieces as you guys could probably see on this giant frisbee sized pog. But all right, not bad. I'm gonna get him back in his bottle and then we're gonna open up soda number two. All right, so let's mosey our way over to this side of the table. Let's do All Might. He, of course, 8,500 pieces is from My Hero Academia. And this one has a glow in the dark chase. And we've actually opened up a few All Mights, never pulled the chase, but just like Willy Wonka, Maybe uh, maybe our luck will turn. So we're probably not going to be able to tell right away as we slide him out of the bottle. He's facing me. Yeah, so he looks, he looks common, but we're going to check the pog just to be safe. Now, if you're a My Hero fan, I feel like this soda definitely has a lot of uh, great detail. Okay, yep, he is the common one out of 7,100, the Silver Age, or excuse me, All Might Silver Age. Yeah, Silver Age All Might, yeah. So there he is, great looking figure, a lot of awesome detail, that smile, that grin of his and everything. Like, this is a fantastic three liter soda. So, 
I think it's pretty cool. I'm not even a big anime collector, but um, I could definitely appreciate how awesome this looks. So I'm gonna get him back in his bottle, and then we're gonna move on to soda number three. Now, let's open up the Oogie Boogie. I've actually really wanted to pull this chase. I think this is only the second or third Oogie Boogie we've opened up, so. I don't know. I don't know if the soda gods are gonna smile upon us. Oh, that one actually came off pretty easy. Now, just like All Might's, the Oogie Boogie here, he also has a glow in the dark chase, so we're probably not gonna be able to tell if he is a comet or a chase until we open the pog here. But just like All Might, Oogie Boogie is a great looking figure. There's so much detail packed into this guy. And uh, let's see, yep, this is a common as well. He is one out of 12,500 pieces, but check him out. I wish you guys could feel it through the screen too. The way they did the texturing on the figure is really cool, but look at all the bugs in his teeth. He's got the dice, and just like All Might, they actually made a smaller version of Oogie Boogie, but I think he looks pretty good in a uh, larger form as well. But next up, I think we're gonna crack open the Evil Queen. So here she is, coming in at 7,500 pieces. She's actually almost a year old, as she dropped last year for WonderCon. So I'll be curious to see if we get any more three liter sodas this year for WonderCon. I'd be surprised if we didn't. It's a nice little con where I feel like they don't drop too many exclusives, so it's kind of like the perfect opportunity to drop one of these larger figures. I don't think we've ever pulled the chase of the Evil Queen, and she has actually been on some really good discounts. So here we go. We are looking for her, I believe, with the Poison Apple. And actually, before I reveal this, we're halfway through, three sodas in, I got one chase. Typically, the odds with sodas are one out of six. Since I have six sodas for today's video, I would love to beat the odds and pull at least one more chase between the Evil Queen, Darth Vader, and Groot that I have left. But here we go, Evil Queen! Oh yes, this is a chase! Nice! Alright, chase number two on the day. She does in fact have the Poison Apple. Alright, this is pretty good odds. We're at 50% right now. This is like one of our soda games. This is crazy. Yeah, here she is. One out of 1,250 pieces. Evil Queen with the Poison Apple. All right. Man, this is awesome. I don't think I've ever pulled two three liter chases in one video, so this is fantastic. Oh man, I really hope Groot's a chase but I definitely hope Darth Vader's a chase. All right, here we go. Now this three liter soda is actually a little bit interesting because I have in fact pulled the chase of this one before. So I'll take another one, you know, this little baby Groot here, even though he is baby Groot, he's coming in three liter size and he was not very limited coming in at 10,000 pieces and he is based off of the Groot from that little animated Disney Plus show. I did not watch that show. I'm behind on a lot of Marvel stuff, although I'm very excited for Echo, which I think I'm actually going to be watching next week. They're dropping all the episodes at once, which I think is fantastic, but uh, let's see if we can pull another chase here. Here we go. Three, two, one. No, he is the common. But look at that. Little baby angry Groot. If we had pulled the chase, he's completely translucent. But I actually think the common version of this figure looks better. Once again, a lot of great detail on him. Let me just open the pack here. One out of 8,400 pieces, of course. And then here is the figure. Looking pretty awesome. And with these figures, like you have to display them out of bottle. The bottles do unfortunately take up a lot of room, but what's also really nice with Groot is you have some really cool details on his head with all that leaf and greenery. Pretty awesome. So let's get Groot back in his bottle. Oh man, if we could go 50% overall and walk away with a Darth Vader chase, that would be freaking legendary. So let's do it. I have not been able to pull this one yet. Holographic Darth Vader Chase. This is the best three liter. This is the best one that they've done so far. 
8,500 pieces came out for San Diego Comic-Con last year. I'm actually still surprised that he's available considering he is Darth Vader. We did have a lot of Anakin over the last couple years with Hayden Christensen's appearances in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show as well as in Ahsoka. So guys, can we go three for six, 50%? Oh man. The insert is like cracked on the bottom. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but here we go. Three, two, one. Oh man. I think this is like the toughest three liter chase to pull. So it is the common, no holographic chase, but still two for six on the day is pretty crazy. And um, they have made a smaller version of Darth Vader, of course. He had a glow in the dark chase, a very lackluster glow in the dark chase. But this figure, man, he just commands a presence on your shelf. He's got the base, of course, and the little Star Wars logo at the bottom, but he's the Dark Lord. It's, it's Darth Vader. So I'll rip the Pog, of course. Oh my gosh, there, there is no Pog. There is no Pog with this Vader. Okay, so... All right, quality control <laughs> strikes again. And believe it or not, this is actually the second Vader that we've gotten from the Funko Shop without a Pog. So I don't know what's going on, Funko. There's no way it could fall out of the bottom with the seal and everything. So that means there just was no Pog when they packed it. But um, still, nonetheless, two chases on the day. What a great soda Saturday. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below out of the six three liter sodas, which one was your favorite on the day? And let me know if you picked up any sodas recently from the giant sale that just occurred over on Funko's website. That's gonna do it for us today. Like I promised, Joanna will be back in the very near future and we will be having some more battles and some more duels. So make sure to hit that subscribe button because uh, we truly appreciate it. And we are gonna be doing our 30,000 live stream uh, celebration at some point this month as well. We have not forgotten about that. We do need to do some giveaways to uh, reward you guys for helping us hit a pretty big milestone in 2023. So thank you guys again for that. But uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on when that live stream happens. And of course, some more great content here on the channel. So guys, as always, don't stop shooting until you score and happy Soda Saturday.